When we look at the best Batman and Robin duos in the history of the NBA, the first ones that might come to mind would be Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, Kobe Bryant and Shaq, etc. But we are witnessing an evolving new one-two punch in the Boston Celtics with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Winning a title isn't easy. Standards are impossibly high when you're a team with 17 title banners hanging above your court. But the reward for delivering another championship is quite grand. It simply comes down to how hard the core of this team wants to work to be great. With Jalen back and healthy, the Celtics have a real chance in the playoffs. Today's video will be about how Jalen Brown is helping to push the Boston Celtics to new heights. With Jalen Brown back, the Celtics can keep on pushing towards the final goal. He's inevitably needed for this plan to be fulfilled. As the tables have turned for the Celtics, who have been striving since the new year after having a terrible start to the season, they look forward to closing out the rest of the games until the end of the regular season and getting the best seed possible. Today, we will talk about the influence Jalen Brown's been having on the squad. But before all that, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. If you have any similar or different ideas why the Boston Celtics are playing great, hit the comment section as I would love to hear your opinion. Let's keep rolling. At the time of this video, the Celtics stand firmly at the fifth spot in the Eastern Conference with their record of 41 and 28, being only three and a half games behind the first place. They have the second best defensive rating, 106.3, and the fourth best net rating, 5.7, in the league. They are second in blocked shots per game, 6, and they are limiting their opponents to 103.9 points per game, which places them third in the league. These are important stats for a championship contender as the game slows down in the postseason. Undoubtedly, they will go to the playoffs where they already have had success, going to three Eastern Conference Finals in the last five years. This season, with the new coach Ime Udoka, who is a candidate for the Coach of the Year by the way, they are looking to repeat and upstage themselves with winning the championship, and having two healthy superstars and a complementary core shouldn't be taken for granted. Jalen Brown recently injured his ankle with a scary fall against the Hawks on March 2. He tested it out in the locker room, but the coach sat him out as a precaution. Fortunately for him, what looked like a serious ankle injury turned out to be just a sprained ankle and he was back after only missing one game. As their second best player, he is crucial to the team. Tatum's and Brown's biggest challenge is inspiring this team to be even better at what they have been doing lately. Their defense is second to none, with most of the players and the team holding their ground and playing cohesively against any offense which they have faced. However, it is their offense that needs to be more consistent and focused. When the team plays well, they are tough to beat, but if they show just a little sign of slacking off, they are unable to find their rhythm again, and this leads to dropping easy games. A very talented and experienced unit with guys who can take over games whenever they want, the sky's the limit for them, but they need a little push from the main guys. Jalen Brown's improvement and maturity can be seen both over the years and this season too. Even though he wasn't selected for the All-Star game, at the time of the voting, the Celtics were struggling. Only Jason Tatum got the All-Star nod from this team and deservingly so. The man is a scoring machine who has had much improvement in other areas of his game. But still, Jalen Brown was salty and he thought he deserved to play in the game where the best players of the league meet. In an interview he said, I'm not really disappointed. Like I said before, I'm not losing sleep. I think that my ability on both sides of the ball speaks for itself. I'm not going to knock any of those other guys. Congratulations to them. But I think it's situational, to be honest. I think maybe some other things go into it that maybe we don't know about right now. For me, JT will hold it down for the both of us. It's not that big of a deal, to be honest. More important for us is to continue to win games and get ready for the playoffs. Obviously, I think I deserve it, but that's life. It is what it is. It ain't gonna stop me. It ain't gonna stop my work ethic. It ain't gonna stop my platforms. So, in reality, it's not that important. Coach is giving Brown more minutes and more responsibilities, and he has risen to the task, making shots and playing defense. He hasn't been making a lot of shots in the paint, but is making them efficiently. He knows how to use his strength against weaker defenders and punish them below the rim. 
The Celtics brought new energy since the new year, and so has Brown. It is great to see such an evolution in a player over the years. Throughout the last few years, Brown has been perfecting his game one aspect at a time, which finally made him so irreplaceable for the Celtics. He's now both patient and aggressive on offense, and his game has become much more versatile. In the past, he was more reluctant and shy to play by himself and be the main guy. He used to rise up for the triple or milk the clock by passing the ball to other teammates. But now, he sees it differently. He catches the ball and already knows what to do, thus showing how much he worked on his decision-making. Now he is running towards the paint and dunking over much bigger guys, which we saw on Sunday when he dunked on Maxi Kleber and the arena exploded. And right in front of the big ticket, Kevin Garnett. After their game against the Dallas Mavericks, where they took a loss, Kevin Garnett's jersey was retired. Hopefully, seeing his jersey in the rafters can inspire them even more at winning the championship, which KG already did with that legendary 2007-2008 Boston Celtics lineup. He went to the locker room to greet the guys and wish them the best for the upcoming postseason. Such words from a living legend are always fulfilling to hear and bring much-needed motivation. During this stretch of wins, where they went 18-4 and in the last 22 games, the critics have been shut up. Earlier in the season, there was talk that the two main guys of the team were unable to function together and that maybe one of them needs to go. And not just these two, most of the players have been criticized in their right order for a couple of months. But now, having won most of the games since this year began and becoming to look like a playoff contender, this kind of talk is gone. Jason Tatum commented on his relationship with Jalen Brown on former NBA guard J.J. Reddick's podcast. The best thing for his career, and mine, is being on the same team. Relatively the same age and position and pushing each other. Just every day, in the games and practice, working out together. I think that's been very beneficial for both of us. The Celtics have been dominant throughout their streak, and Tatum and Brown haven't necessarily needed to play their best games. The defense has been a huge boost for the Seas, overcoming some slow nights from the star duo. But Tatum and Brown are the team's most valuable pieces. Both players are still 25 and under, with plenty of ball still left in their careers. Jalen is their second best player, and he has to take it up a notch if he wants to win it all. And what do you guys think? Will Jalen Brown step up when it matters the most? How far can the surging and much improved Boston Celtics go in the postseason this year? I would love to hear back from you, so please don't be shy and let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more NBA stories from around the league.